Donald Trump claims he needs a $5 billion wall to keep drugs and criminals from entering the United States. But it is not the Honduran asylum seekers that are bringing illegal drugs into the U.S. It is the Honduran ruling class. In November 2018, American prosecutors announced drug charges against Juan Antonio Hernandez, Honduran President Hernandez's brother. They describe him as a large-scale drug trafficker who spent a dozen years moving cocaine shipments bound for the United States through Central America. In March 2017, Fabio Porfirio Lobo, the son of the fraudulent 2010-2013 President Pepe Lobo, was sentenced to 24 years in prison by a U.S. federal judge for drug trafficking. The involvement of the Honduran ruling class in drug trafficking is extensive. It includes the Honduran National Police. In January 2018, according to the Associated Press, President Hernandez's National Police Chief, Jose David Aguilar Moran, was accused of helping facilitate a $20 million cocaine delivery to a drug cartel boss in 2013. In September 2018, the U.S. Drug Enforcement Administration sentenced Carlos Alberto Valladares Garcia, a former Honduran National Police Chief known as El Tigre, to 14 years in prison for conspiring to import cocaine. Yet, in 2017, Vice President Mike Pence met with Honduras President Juan Orlando Hernandez and praised the country's fight against drugs and corruption. They also hypocritically shared concerns for the Venezuelan people who are suffering under President Maduro. As the Cato Institute noted, drug smuggling activity now primarily occurs at ports of entry, where building a $5 million wall will not stop the Honduran ruling class and other drug cartels from importing drugs. In August 2011, according to CBS and Fox News, the U.S. Coast Guard seized 7.5 tons of cocaine worth about $180 million from a submarine-like craft off the Honduran Caribbean coast. The Miami Herald reported that in November 2018, the U.S. Coast Guard seized about 18.5 tons of cocaine worth $5 million at Port Everglades in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. People smuggled drugs by speedboat, in minivans, jeeps, shipments of fake Apple products, decorative Aztec calendars, work trucks, and ultralight aircraft. It was smuggled in by U.S. citizens, even a French citizen who was a legal U.S. resident. People even threw it over the border fence. Trump's insistence on building a $5 billion wall is a costly, futile, and grandiose scheme proposed by a man who refuses to acknowledge that it will not stop the importation of illegal drugs.